Hi Virgo, this is Kelly from Moon Pai Tarot. This is your How the Other Person Feels About You reading for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This reading may or may not resonate with you. Please check your other signs if you need more clarity. If you'd like a personal reading, please go to moonpytarot.com and book your reading there. Or you can download the Instant Go app from your iPhone app store and request a reading. I will have it for you within 24 hours and we can even have a little chat if you like. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram under Moon Pie Tarot for daily guidance. So, Virgos, before I get started, I am using the Vampire Tarot to clarify your reading. This reading is about the person that you are thinking about at the moment, whoever that may be for you. So we'll get started with your reading. I've already shuffled the Angel Oracle deck and I'm just going to shuffle and pull cards and tell the story, okay? So in the position of what the other person may be telling you or messages you could be receiving from them is that they have a lot of passion for you. You could be dealing with someone who is in theater or is a singer. I don't know why that just came out out of nowhere. Um, maybe a celebrity. And that just came out of nowhere too. So this person though, they could be telling you that they have a lot of passion for you. The Ace of Wands is in the reverse. So they it, it's still good. The Ace of Wands being in the reverse is still a good card. It's just that it's, it's like, Ace of Wands is always a new beginning. This is a possible new beginning, a potential a potential to a possible new beginning. <laughs> so you could have someone that you're dealing with that could express to you that they have a lot of passion for you and um, that there is a possibility they may want to take the relationship to the next level or um, further a commitment or start dating, that kind of thing. And the Six of Cups is clarifying that as well. So this is someone, this could be reconciliation or someone from your past who could be reaching out. They might, they might reach out but not reach out with an extreme amount of passionate energy, even though they may be feeling it. But this is someone, they'll be very kind when they reach out to you, okay? Now, in the position of how this person feels about you, they feel that you could be the one for them. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. So, clarified by the Seven of Wands. Interesting. A little bit of defensive energy. They might think that you're a little defensive at times or that you keep like maybe your guard up sometimes perhaps. I'm just thinking, give me a second here. Hmm. The Empress in the reverse. And they might be viewing you as someone who could be a little cold, <laughs> which is like, wow, maybe they like that. <laughs> you know, you're defensive, you're cold, but you're the one for me. Um, <laughs> I just kind of feel like that's really just how they feel about you. And um, maybe they're hesitant. Maybe that's why there's a hesitation to reach out or to reconcile things with you because they're not sure if you will respond to that. You know, the Empress, when she's in the reverse, she can sometimes be really clingy, but I feel like her energy is that she's kind of like cold or strict or, you know, not being warmth and warm and embracing. And, and she's, she just got like, this person is viewing you as, as being quite defensive or, um, you know, uh, they think you have some kind of wall up or they see walls up or s of some sort with you, even though they feel like you're the one for them. So <clears throat> what's on their mind, you know, they want to recapture romance with you and they want to be playful. They want to play with you. They want to have fun. You know, uh, they want you to just kind of chill and just 
have fun. Um, but the Six of Swords is here. So they want to, you know, move further. They want you to, like, whatever, if you're, they feel like you might be in some kind of troubled waters of some sort, and they want you to get out of that. Or they want to come see you, because the Six of Swords can be a travel card as well. And so there could be someone who's coming back from your past who is hesitant to reach out to you because they're not sure about how you feel about them. Um, but it's on their mind that they want to move forward. But again, the Knight of Pentacles energy here is that they're, they're not sure that you will receive them. The Knight of Pentacles reversed, you know, talks about someone, it's like no movement at all, you know. So they could be kind of reaching out to you just to test the waters to see if you're still you know in this energy here of defensiveness or you know they're thinking that about you they're feeling that way about you and they're thinking that you you know if they're thinking to themselves well if i move towards this person and just try to be playful maybe that'll lighten them up and make them budge a little bit but you know they're not sure they are even going to do that they have a lot they're really like intense thoughts in their mind. Now, how they're behaving is they feel like you've you've stirred something up within them. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay. So if you haven't seen this person in a while, you know, it could be a new love coming from, you know, between the two of you. Like a it doesn't have to be like a new beginning this person could be new to you all over again you know or they feel that you know that in the opposite direction because i feel like that's what they want like they want a new they want something new as far as love goes with you you've stirred something up in the, up within them it's causing them to behave the way they're behaving but again, the tower in reverse. No sudden forward movement just yet. They're not ready to, to leap just yet. And the four of wands in the reverse. So they're just not sure about how you're feeling or what's going on. They don't know if there can be a commitment here or they're not sure if it can go that way. And I was thinking maybe because of them, but it might just be because of the energy you're giving off that you're not being open and warm and friendly to them for whatever reason whatever reason it could be what are they thinking it could be um well they think that you've just kind of left them out in the cold or that you've just walked away and you've forgotten about them so they could be feeling very insecure and not sure you've you stirred something up in them but they're hesitant to make a move forward about commitment because they're not sure if you'd receive it or if you would want it. So the advice here, what's external to them, this is about you. You need to continue loving yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically, romantically attractive. Continue loving yourself first, taking care of what it is you need to take care of. But, you know, relax a little bit. The Eight of Pentacles with this person because when the eight of pentacles is in the upright you know this is a card about taking stock of the you know your where you've been what you've been doing putting work into things you don't have to um try so hard just maybe take a little break or take a take a little vacation um working incredibly hard to love yourself um without allowing love in just leaves you feeling lonely and isolated because you're the only one who's loving you <laughs> and the knight of cups in the reverse so there is this energy where you're not going to be i see right now you know you're not putting forth any emotional romantic energy toward anyone and perhaps this person because for some reason you have cut this person out or from your past or you didn't want to move forward with at least that's what they're thinking and that's probably what did happen and you just don't want to make any moves right now you're actually still focus focusing on taking care of yourself and your needs first 
And maybe that's what's attracting that person to you. But again, at the same time, are you becoming so independent that you don't need anyone at all and blocking yourself from love? That's the question. So the outcome card is make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So if you are wanting to be with this person during this time, you both of you will have to make the effort. Judgment, again, is reconciliation, like the Six of Cups. So if you want to reconcile with someone, you will have to make the effort and come to the truth. If there's a conversation of some sort, you have to just give your truth about whatever may have happened in the past. Uh, you know, even if this was a friend and, and this friend now is actually feeling something for you, but you have just whatever happened not that you've kept your walls up if you wanted to work out you have to you know meet this person halfway and there you are right and when the queen of pentacles is in the upright she's wonderful she's beautiful she's confident she's secure she takes care of herself she makes her money she focuses on her career she's very loving she's abundant she's a um you know a family person you know, be who you are, be your truthful self. If you want to try, or if there's a possibility of reconciliation with this person, just give your truth. Just give them your truth. Don't make anything up. Don't ignore them if they reach out to you, but just be honest. You know? Take the steps, make the plan, make the process. And this too goes for them. Right, and I see that there is that they will tell you the truth about how they feel about you. They may even say, you know, well, what happened, or what's going on, or what have you. Uh, you know, they're hesitating, hesitating for some reason when it comes to you. And <coughs> excuse me, it has something to do with this cutoff. And I don't feel like they're, you know too happy uh, but they're still i feel like they're still engaging with you are there even if they even if they haven't before if this had happened a long time ago i feel like there's going to be some type of messages and then coming back or trying to reconcile with you okay virgo so that was your reading again if you wish for a personal reading go to moonpytarot.com or if you would like a quick fast reading just download the instant go app and uh look for me moon Pie Tarot from your iPhone app store, and I will get a reading to you within 24 hours, or I will answer your question. Okay, so Virgo, have a wonderful October through November, and I will talk to you. I will stalk you soon. Okay, take care. Bye.